Very good morning as we continue in Isaiah 30 verse 21. This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the left or when you turn to the right hand. Our heading, this is the way. Walk in it. Oh, if the Lord had turned his back on us, where had we been? If he had given us up to our own devices and left us to ourselves, then our eternal ruin would be forthcoming. Firstly, we have a freedom of will, but it is by that freedom of will that men are condemned. Since they will not be come unto Christ that they might have life, but they will to follow the devices and desires of their own hearts. Free will, thus held in chains by evil lusting, becomes the most destructive agency in the world. But blessed be God, He has freedom of will too, and that freedom of sovereign grace will not have His hands bound, nor His lips closed, but it will act and speak in omnipotent love. And secondly, those persons had not only turned their backs on God, but they were going further and further away from Him. They were not content to be near God, even with their backs to Him, but they hastened away. They are eager and quick to escape from their own mercy. Like the prodigal, they are not satisfied till they get into a far country. They cannot rest in the same land with their God. They journey with all speed away from the Lord, and the greater the distance that they can set between themselves and their Father, the more are they at ease. An application. In forgetting God, they find a horrible peace, the peace of death, a peace which will stupefy them unto eternal destruction. Now, it is while they are going hot foot away from God, further and further every day, madly rushing away the downward road, never satisfied with the sin to which they have attained, flying from God as if He were their terror and would be their destroyer. It is even then at this time that the word sounds behind them and they are startled into thought. They have a powerful voice pleading with them thus, Turn, turn, why will you die, O house of Islai? This is the way, walk in it. And I pray, O oh, thank you, Father, that you have not left us in our own stupidity and folly, but that the voice spoke to us and is still speaking to us. Glory be to you, in Jesus' name, Amen.